love being on vacation. This cottage getaway was a great idea. I'm right there with you. There's nothing like a woodland retreat for a little R&R. &R. Mm -hmm. Check out the river. It's so peaceful. Hmm? Hey, JJ? Yep? Come quick! There's something over there. Oh, yeah? What is it? I don't know. I can't tell from here. It's just a little too far away. Hmm? Hmm. Uh -oh. Let's go see! Uh, Mikey, watch out! Ah! This isn't good. Get in the house. Hurry! Uh -oh. What was that? Just about the worst thing that could ever happen to us. What do you mean? We should stay in the cottage. Why? What is it? Take a good look at it, Mikey. That is a red ogre. What's a red ogre? They say if you look a red ogre in the eye, then it will spend a hundred days trying to capture you. No! You're kidding! However, if the ogre doesn't succeed by midnight of the hundredth night, it'll be the one to croak. So all we have to do is hold out for a hundred days. Do I have that right? Yep, that's the deal. We need to get away from it. We could make a run for it, but we'd probably have to find another way out of here. Hmm. It's just waiting for us out there. What do you think, Mikey? Mm, I'm not sure if we should leave. Well, the good news is the ogre isn't coming inside. It's too big. It can't fit through the front door. That's lucky. But I wish it wasn't guarding it. Hmm. <gasps> I've got an idea! What is it? Since it's so focused on the front door, we can just dash out the back. It would never notice. Hmm. It is staying put. That could work. Hmm. Wanna go for it? Yeah, come on! Follow me! Hurry, hurry, hurry! I'm right behind you! <laughs> Get back here, Mikey! Quick, in the house! You can do it! <laughs> I locked the door. There. Phew! Did you see that? It caught up to us in a matter of seconds! It's so much faster than I expected. Look at it go! There's no way we can outrun it. Any other ideas? Hmm. Let me think. There must be a solution. What's in this room, JJ? Oh, it's just the bedroom. Hmm. Huh? No way! What? what? Take a look at this! Whoa! A drill! Hang on! That gives me an idea! Yeah? We should use the drill to build a secret escape tunnel! It can't chase after us if we're hidden underground! That might just work, Mike. All right, then. Let's get digging. We have to pick a spot where it can't see us. Then we can make our escape. How about over here? Yeah, that should work. Here goes. First, I'll make a hole in the floor. There. Now I'll make it wider. Good idea. All right. Time to get tunneling. Can you make sure we're in the clear? Oh, listen. It definitely can't see us. Whoa, this is going to be one professional-looking tunnel. You said it! <laughs> wow. Impressive, huh? Yeah, we're definitely making a getaway this time! Look how fast we're drilling! That red ogre has no idea what we're up to! I think this is far enough. Let's start digging our way back up. Go! Whoa! Oh, no! You're kidding! It was waiting for us! How did it know? Listen, this plan isn't gonna work. So what do we do? Let's head back to the house. Okay. If we can't run, then we need to fight. We have to slay the ogre. How are we supposed to do that? It's so strong! Come upstairs. I've got something to show you. Hmm? Check this out. Check what out? If you look carefully, you'll see a hidden door. I was afraid something like this might happen, so I installed a secret room and stocked it with things we might need. That's amazing! Come see what we've got inside this chest, Mikey. Ta-da! We've got revolvers and grenades to be used only for self-defense, of course. Whoa! Might as well take this other stuff with us, too. I bet we can take down that ogre in one shot! For sure! Thanks to our trusty revolvers. Why are there diving suits here? Oh, <laughs> you notice them, huh? We might as well take them, too. Better safe than sorry. Good thinking. Don't worry, though. I also grabbed the TNT and all the other stuff, just in case. <laughs> Already?
already wearing the diving suit, huh? Lol. Now let's slay this ogre. You really think we need the TNT? Like you said, better safe than sorry. So, where'd that ogre go? Get it! Did it leave? Well, I don't see it. Ah, there it is! Right below you, Mikey! Blast it already, JJ! Don't worry, I'm on it. It doesn't stand a chance against my trusty revolver. Take that! That should do it! Oh, it's coming for me! And shoot it, Mikey! Why is it breaking? Down there! Help me out! It's not even flinching! We can't slay it this way! Our guns aren't doing anything! <gasps> Time to crank things up a notch. If our bullets won't do the trick, then our grenades definitely Check will. Ball. Take that. Then that. Then that and that and that. Oh! I'm out. And they didn't leave a scratch. How is that possible? It's hopeless. It's too strong. What are we going to do? I don't know. Oh. oh, I just remembered something. Even if you attack a red ogre nonstop for a hundred days, it won't die. What? Remember that sooner? Well, we can't change the past, but we can come up with a new plan. Mm -hmm. So we tried running and we tried slaying it, but neither of those ideas worked. Right. So let's try staying in the house for a hundred days instead. Great idea! The ogre can't fit through the door, so we can just wait him out in here. Then, when the time is up, he'll just give up and disappear. Bingo! Luckily for us, we have plenty of food. This chest is practically full. We're definitely not gonna starve. Mm. Yeah, there's more than enough. I'm down to stay in here for a hundred days. Then that's what we'll do, all while filling up on cake. Let our hundred day hideout begin! Woo. Yep, just a few more hours. We may have gone a little overboard food-wise. This is all we have left. One piece of cake each. I'm gonna eat mine. A little hungry, believe it or not. I am too. They're officially out of food, but that shouldn't be a problem. As long as we survive, the red ogre should disappear at midnight. Midnight can't come soon enough. No kidding. Tomorrow, we can finally live without fear. Now, I'm gonna go down and check on that annoying ogre. I haven't seen it in a little while. Well, what's it up to? Is it gone? Oh, no, there it is, right by the front window. And it looks so discouraged, like it knows its time is almost up. It's a total goner. We just need to wait for the stroke of midnight. Then its reign of terror will officially be over. It'll fade away like a bad dream. <laughs> this is almost too easy. Huh? Ah! What? No, 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 no! What's wrong? Mikey! Yeah? The ogre broke into the cottage! Woo! Then we run! Where? Just jump down! Ah! What do we do now? Sit this way, Mikey! In here! Quick! Uh, okay! There's a secret passage! No, there isn't! Yes, there is! Right here! Whoa! Follow me, Mikey! Up the chimney! I'm coming! It's so strange! Why did the ogre wait so long to bust in? Wanna know what I think happened? I think the ogre got serious. It took so long because time's almost up, and now it has to go all out. <gasps> At least we managed to escape. Yeah, for now anyway. Hmm. That wasn't so bad. Uh, you gotta be kidding me. What is it? Hang on. I can't believe it. The number of red ogres just keeps going up and up. For yeah? Real? How's that possible? Ugh, they're multiplying even faster than before. Okay, stay calm. We'll be fine. All we have to do is stay on the roof. They're too big to fit through the chimney, and that's the only way up here. I'll admit that they're scary, but we can just wait them out. Simple as that. You're right, Mikey. It's way too tight a squeeze for them. Hmm. Loosen up, JJ. Hmm. We're safe. I don't know. Take a deep breath. We're gonna be all right. Ugh. No! No, stop that! What's wrong? Uh, <gasps> let the house on fire, Mikey! Yeah, I see that! So what do we do? Ah! Let's put on our diving suit. Already done! This whole place is gonna burn to the ground! So we can't stay here because of the fire, but we can't go down because of the ogres! It's over! We're out of options! No, we're not! I just remembered something! What? 
We still have all this stuff. What stuff? All of this, Mikey. Ooh. Okay, so we already have our diving suits on. Good. Now to make something from this stuff. Whatever it is you're building, you better build it quick. Line these up. Some more over here. What are you making? Don't worry, you'll see. Just leave it to me. Leave it there. There we go. Tell me, tell me. All you need to know is that we're gonna be okay. Uh, hey. Almost done. Last one. There. So remember all the stuff we had in the storage room? Well, I'm so glad we brought it with us. This is our ticket to safety. Now that there's water, just gotta line the tops here. Ooh. There. Now to finish it off with a button. So this will help us get out of here? Yeah. You wanna know a fun fact? Sure. Red ogres can't stand getting their face wet. That's why. Uh -huh. We're gonna dive underwater and wait them out. Oh. This is how it's gonna work. We'll use the TNT cannon to launch ourselves into the river, where we'll be safe from the ogres. This sounds way better than staying up here. Yeah, we'll just have to spend the rest of the day underwater. Okay, let's go. The red ogres are waiting for us to fall. Ah, the fire's spreading! It's all right, just follow my lead. Okay! Whoa, I'm flying! Now to stick the landing? Okay. Perfect. Get over here, Mikey. Hurry! Before the whole cottage burns down! I'm coming! I'm coming! Oh. Dive all the way to the bottom, buddy! Uh, wow! That's it! <laughs> well, JJ, are we safe now? Let me check. <laughs> ah, they're coming! Get down, Mikey! Hurry! Sink as far as you possibly can! Uh, uh, I'm scared, JJ! Don't be! We're gonna be just fine! They're trying to come after us, but as you can see, they're not diving in. They don't want to get their faces wet. Yeah. All we have to do now is wait them out down here. We can do this! We're strong! Staying underwater that long won't be easy, but if we pull it off, we can put this nightmare behind us. This is it. I think their time is almost up. Is it? I'm pretty sure. Mm. Oh, yeah! Finally! Looks like the coast is clear! After all that time! Woo! Wow! We did it, Mikey! We survived! Yeah, we're survivors! We're free again! Tonight, a huge swarm of zombies is coming! Oh no! Alright, let's create seven zombie security systems to protect our house. Seven security measures should be enough to save us! To start, let's build our first security measure here. We can turn this into a protective layer of security lava. First, security lava. We'll just dig a trench around it, like this. Okay, I'll follow your lead! Yeah, three spaces wide. Then, we'll fill it up with lava. We got this! This looks good. Now it's time to pour the lava in. Nice job, JJ! Even if the zombie swarm attacks, there's no way they can cross the lava, so we'll be safe. The zombies won't even be able to get close to our house with all this lava in the way. Is that enough? Not quite. Just to be safe, we're gonna make seven security measures. Seven? For the second one, we'll build a barricade here behind the front door, just in case the zombies break it down. Second, barricade. Barricade? Yep, that's right. Since our door is made of wood, it might be easy for the zombies to break it down. Yep, that's why I'm doing this. Hmm? It's another security measure. I'm wiring it together, like so. Next, I'll put a wall of iron bars on top. Oh! There we go. Now we'll put some pistons up here as well. Some more iron bars. Some more redstone. Zombies can't break iron bars very well. Yeah, that's why the zombies will have a tough time getting inside. I'll place a lever right here. And then the last thing to do is fill in the rest of the floor, like this. Ooh. In the event that the zombies break down the door, we can pull this lever. 
Wow! Cool! Now that's a barricade! Now we don't have to worry about the zombies getting inside our house at all! Even if they break down the wooden door, they can't break through iron bars! Yep, we're definitely safe now. The second one is done! If the zombies manage to break through the barricade, our third security measure will be a secret passage. Third, a secret passage. A secret passage? Awesome! Yep, now we'll dig our way through. Let's go really deep. Mm -hmm. It might be easier to make our secret passage with the help of some TNT. Ooh. And when we blow it up, huh? it'll make our secret passage. Oh! Is it that easy? Let's do this. All right! Three, two, one. Easy peasy. Yeah! Okay, time to clean this up. Let's get started. Our tunnel is complete. Yay! Now in the event of zombies breaking into the house, we can escape through here. But JJ, we already have security lava and a barricade, so I really don't think they'll be able to break into the house. Even though it's unlikely, they still might be able to break through. In that case, we need to be sure to be as secure as possible. There's something I want to build. Huh? What is it? I'll start by digging this out. What are you making, JJ? There's a super important device we still need. I'm setting this up. There we go. Just like that. Now then... I'll connect this here. Almost finished. Great! I'll put some repeaters here. Now it all connects! What is it, JJ? I'm making a super important device right now, Mikey. I just need to hook this up and place a few more repeaters here. Like this. That should do it! Awesome! What does it do? Alright. Good. It's all coming together. This goes on top. Okay. Hmm. What could it be? I have no idea. Sweet. Check it out. What is this thing? I'll place blocks around the edge. Hmm. Then I'll power it all up. But first, I need to put the power source here, just like this. And then I'll connect that over here. This will lead all the way outside. Woo! Okay, Mikey. Right here, I'm placing a button on the wall. Huh. I wonder what that's for. I'll lead this redstone around to the front of the house and connect it over there. Perfect. Bit of this. Bit of that. Almost done. I need to connect it up here. There. That should work. Okay, Mikey. It's all done. I just need to fix up this last part. And just like that. The next device is ready to go. It doesn't look any different, though. Here's the deal about this device. Huh? If zombies manage to break through the barricade, we can push this button. Wow! Amazing! What is that? It's a secret entrance. That's super cool! Yeah, we'll be safe in here if the zombies break in. This is incredible! Now, let's build our fourth security measure inside the secret passage. Our fourth one? We're gonna go through this hallway and load it up with lasers. Fourth, lasers. Alright, got it! We're gonna place a bunch of lasers to make sure the zombies can't get through! Yep, just like this. Cool! <laughs> let's set up the lasers. Let's do this thing! 
connected. Woohoo! Like this. Nice. We're connecting the lasers to stop the zombies from getting through. There, that's good. Mm -hmm. Sweet. Okay, I'll put another one down. There. Whoa, nice job. Excellent. There's no way the zombies will make it through all these lasers. Next, let's build a basement in the back. Great idea. We'll enter it by dropping down from above. That sounds awesome. I'll use a command to make a passage that leads down. Whoa! Hey, it worked! Epic! Afterward, we'll have to make sure it's safe for us to jump down. We can reduce the fall damage with hay bales. Good thinking! This will prevent fall damage, so it should be safe. I'll try it! Woohoo! <laughs> okay, then from here, let's make another passage. There's something I want to put in a room down here. I'll use a command again to create a space. And just like this... I made a hallway! Now I'll make a nice big room here. A nice big room? There's something I want to put in here. Huh? Like what? There! The big room is ready to go! Wow! That was fast! Alright, Mikey. If the zombies make it this far, there's something else I want to build in here. What is it? Let's make arrow turrets. Fifth, arrow turrets. You mean something that shoots arrows out of it? Yeah. How do you make that? We'll launch a swarm of arrows at the zombies. It works like this. Make sure everything is connected, then give it a lever. Then, inside the device, I'll add a bunch of arrows. Whoa! Impressive! Just like this. So far, so good. There! I filled the dispensers. Cool! So if the zombies manage to get this far, we can turn on the device. Whoa! That's powerful! That should hold the zombies back. We can fight whole hordes of zombies with this! Great work, TJ! I feel way safer with all this extra security we added. But Mikey, what if the zombies manage to break through all our security systems? We should build an emergency escape. Sixth, emergency escape. Now then, I'm gonna dig back here. For this emergency escape tunnel, I plan on using some TNT. Blast it wide open! I'm gonna load it up with as much TNT as I can, just like this. That's plenty of TNT. All right. Three, two, one. Wow! That's awesome! Whoa! Woo that tunnel was easy! You can say that again. Let's clean it up. Okay, I'll help. This is number six, our emergency escape. We're making it just in case we need it. Mm -hmm. Nice. Hey, JJ. What kind of emergency escape device will we make? We're gonna set it up to take us straight to the surface using rails and minecarts. Rails and minecarts? That's the idea. We'll place the rails right here. This way, it will be an emergency escape device. Yeah? That goes super fast. Amazing! Now let's connect these rails. Yeah! <sighs> Check it out. It's nighttime. We put on our diamond equipment to prepare for the zombies. And we even have golden apples to recover health with. Wow, we're really prepared, Mikey. We got this. Definitely. <gasps> oh no! Gigi, look at the zombies! We're surrounded by zombies! <laughs> no kidding. There's a horde of zombies pouring in. <laughs> There's nothing to worry about, JJ. We have security lava right here, so the zombies can't even get across. See? They'll fall right into the security lava. Check it out! It fell right into the lava! Whoa! Mikey! Nice! The zombies are burning up! <laughs> this is easy! Whoa! There are a lot of them, but at this rate, we'll be fine. We're totally gonna survive! Huh? Uh, hold on, Mikey. 
Are the zombies getting closer? <laughs> I think they are! That's not good! Why aren't they dying? No, oh, Mikey! The zombies made it through! How? There's no way! They're coming! They eat your golden apples! Uh, Mikey, we're in trouble. How did this happen? Who would have thought they could walk over lava? No, you gotta be kidding me! A retreat into the house. Run away! Turn on the barricade. Right. Now we can relax. Yep, we should be safe now, Mikey. It looks like we're gonna be okay. Uh, hang on a sec. Huh? Uh oh, the zombies destroyed our wooden door. It's fine, JJ. Look, it doesn't look like they could break through iron bars. Piece of cake. Oh, I think you're right. Uh? Huh? Uh. Uh, wait, that's not good. They're breaking the glass. Oh, did we really forget to barricade the windows? This is bad. Ah, the zombies are breaking more glass! Ah! They're climbing inside! Oh, there's so many of them! Can we fight them off? There are too many, JJ! Let's try the secret passage! Right away! Hurry, Mikey! Okay! It's open! Get in! Alright! I made it! Good luck, JJ! Come on, come on! Quick! We got away, Mikey! That's good! It looks like we can relax in here for a bit. Huh? Oh no! They're breaking through the secret entrance, Mikey! No! Get to the back! The zombies are getting in! Carefully! Ouch! Ah! Try not to hit the lasers, Mikey. Run away! Hang on, the zombies! Ah! They're getting through the lasers! Ah! The zombies! They're pushing past the lasers! Come on, Mikey! Oh no! Oh no! The lasers aren't working on them! Oh, I know! Get underground! Down here! Hurry! Whoa! We made it! Okay, Mikey, let's activate our aero security measure to stop the zombies. Yeah! Whoa! Oh wow! It's working! They're falling one after the other! I think we'll survive this! Security arrows are amazing! They're the best! We can stop as many zombies as we need to! You're right! This is a piece of cake! Yeah, see? They keep falling! Mm -hmm. Oh, bad news! We ran out of arrows! <gasps> we have no choice but to escape! To the minecart! Uh... Hurry! Okay! Three, two, one! The zombie swarm is coming! Uh, I'm getting out of here too! No! That was close. Those zombies almost took me out. Phew! We broke through our security way too easily! We'll be alright. It's time to launch our huge number of TNT minecarts at them. Let's do it! Yep, just pull this lever. There. Will it really beat those zombies? We can't know for sure, but we have to try. Three, two, one. Much. Whoa. Whoa. Huh? Oh. Wait. What's that? Whoa. <laughs> wow. Sweet. Oh, Mikey. Incredible. The cards worked. Yeah, we did. <laughs> This is terrible! We've been shipwrecked! We can't find land in any direction! To make things even more dire, it's said that at night hordes of zombie sharks appear in the ocean! Wait, seriously? I don't like the sound of that! So we need to build a floating security house! Yeah! Okay, here's the plan. Let's extend our boat into a full-sized high-security base! Cool! I'll use blocks of concrete to extend the area, like this! Nice! 
We'll build our security house on top of this platform. Mm. Now to fill it in. We're already off to a good start. Yeah. Now that the platform is done, let's start building the house on top. Oh. I'll just build it out here, like so. Almost done. Yep. That looks like a good size. I'll use glass for this part. A nice big window. Hmm. Oh, I actually want to make this part concrete. Oh. Something like that. That will make the house stronger. There. Hmm. Now for the wall on this side, I'd like to make something fancy. I want to build it out of fences. This is going to look really unique. Alright then. Next up, I should give us a door. Or maybe two? Oh, and can't forget the roof. I can help. We don't need anything too flashy. Just some more spruce wood. Thank you, Mikey. I think I want to cover it with a layer of slabs. Okay. I think an overhang would look nice. Okay, it's almost done. Now nothing can spawn on top of our roof. Nice. Thanks for the help, Mikey. Before we add security features, I want to make it fancier. Huh? Does this look good? Maybe I'll add a pillar here. Something like this. Uh... Sure, that looks good enough. Next up, Mikey, I think our house needs an underwater area. Yeah! Here's what we'll do for the underwater part. Ooh. The underwater level of the house will be really important for security. Thanks, Mikey. Mm -hmm. The fence part will extend down too. This will look even cooler underwater. And then below that part, I'll put more spruce planks. What do you think? I like it. I think I'll make this part all glass. Oh, yeah. It's going to take up the whole wall. It'll be great. Oh, yeah. Now that looks cool. The floor should be something strong, like more concrete blocks. Concrete is probably zombie shark proof. And the floor is done. I think I should reinforce this wall, though, to make it stronger. Oh! Awesome! With that, our underwater room is complete. Woohoo! Almost. We can't use this room if it's full of water. Right! Let's use sponges in here to quickly soak up all the water. Oh! Mikey, uh -huh. watch what happens when I place a sponge. Huh? Hang on a second. What? Hang on, Mikey. There's too much water for them to soak up. Really? Maybe we should go from the top down. Let's try. Let's try again. Ah. I can't tell if it's working. Huh. Oh. Huh? Maybe if I just... Oh, look. It is working. Oh. Let's keep going. I see. We just need to put them at the top of the water. Whoa. It's draining. Let's keep it up. Yeah. Check it out. This side of the room is mostly drained. Let's keep placing sponges. Almost done. Wow! Hmm. You did it! That's the last of the water. Awesome! Now let's clear up all those leftover sponges. Right! This part's fun. All done! Finally, all the water's gone. We did it! All right, now Mikey, I'd like to turn this into a storage room. Oh, storage! Help me replace all these floor blocks with slabs. On it! We'll split the lower section into two levels and put storage on top. I see. The slabs will let us fit in more chests. All right, now let's divide this with another level. This will be the floor for the storage room. See? Oh! There we go. Just like that. Thanks for the help, Mikey. Of course! Before we add chess, I'd like to give it some finishing touches. Huh? I'll replace these slabs with wooden blocks. Oh! Maybe some more on this side? Uh-huh! And some slabs along the top. This is really starting to come together. 
but I still want to make it look a little fancier. So I guess I'll add some walls to this space. Oh! Finally, I want this wall to be wood. That's much better. We should also raise this part up with slabs so the chest can go on top. Mm. Let's put chests all around the sides of the room. Oh, good thinking, Mikey. Thank you. There's room to fit chests in the middle, too. Yeah. Next for our storage area, I'd like to make a secret entrance. So cool. To start, I'll place a ladder that leads into the storage area. And next to it, a lever. Then, I'll have to make some room behind it for some redstone. I guess this outer wall will have to be thicker. That's easy enough. It'll look nicer if I extend it all the way. There we go. Now let's get out the redstone dust. Nice! Let's see. Right here, I'm going to need to place a sticky piston. There we go. Then, place a wooden plank in front of that. And replace this. Nice! Wow! Now, if you pull on the lever, the secret entrance opens up. That's awesome! Thank you. Hmm. All right then. Mikey, we're all done here. We've completed the secret storage area. What's next? Good question. For our next task, let's work on the first floor interior. I think this needs a glass railing. Yeah! I want this to look stylish. What else will we need in this room? Maybe a TV for when we want to relax? I think this wall will be the perfect spot. <laughs> and of course, we'll need a sofa to sit on. Of course! Hmm, how about a gaming PC over here? That'll be fun, don't you think? Oh, yeah! I think so, too. There. Oh, and can't forget the chair. That's better. Perfect! Next, I think I'll place some carpet here, like this. Woo! A carpet always ties the room together. Oh, thanks, Mikey! Yep! Okay, looking good! I like it! Now, let's do the interior for the underwater room. Yeah! We could make this a bedroom. What do you think of that idea? That's perfect! Great! My headboard will go right here. Nice! That's tall enough. I think I want a double bed. How about you? Mmm! And there you go. Thank you! Oh, and I'll give us some side tables. Nice! And then we'll need something to put on those tables, like these lamps. There we go. One on each side table. Oh, yeah! This looks like the perfect spot for a painting. Yes! What do you think? Should we put carpet in this room, too? Definitely! This is starting to look really nice. It looks great! Let's carpet this entire room. Woo! That's perfect! Oh, we can't forget to add a ladder back up. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, there'd be no way out of the bedroom. We'd be stuck down here. That's much better. Hmm, I think some flower pots would be a nice touch. What do you think? Totally! Cacti are my favorite plant. I want one in every pot. Maybe one more over here? So cool! All right. And with that, Mikey, our underwater room is complete! Nice! Does that mean our security house is ready to go? Not quite. We don't have any food yet, so we should set up an underwater farm. Oh, yeah! Farms need a source of water, so I'm going to let in a little bit from outside. Right here. Careful! Okay, now the underwater farm is going to go over here. An underwater farm sounds really cool! I'll make a hallway here. Mm. This part's just the hallway leading to the farm. The actual farm is going to be at the other end. The ocean has plenty of room, so I'm going to make it really big. Why not, right? Let's make it huge! Yeah. Then we'll never have to worry about food! Yep, we could spend our whole lives down here, and we'd never run out of food. There! Wow! For the walls of our farm, I think we should use glass blocks. Sure! If we use glass, then we'll have a really good view of the ocean. Good point! Filling in the walls sure does take time, but it'll look really good when it's done. Okay, now the ceiling. Thanks, Mikey! All done! There, the glass room is finished. 
But it's still full of water, so we can't grow crops yet. Let's drain this room using sponges. Right! One by one, these will soak up all the water. There we go. Looking good. Wow! The room is slowly draining. Very slowly. Finally. Phew. Wow, they soaked that water right up. Now we gotta get rid of them. All right! The water has been drained. Ooh. Our crops will need plenty of light to be able to grow underwater. So let's use lanterns. Okay. These lanterns should provide all the light we'll need. All right, that should be enough of them. Thanks, Mikey. Hmm. What's next? Oh, we can't forget the water. I'll go ahead and dig some holes in the ground. Aw, oh, thanks, Mikey. Mm -hmm. I'll add some water here, too. Nice. There we go. Whoops. There. The next step is to till the field. I'm ready. This part's easy. Just grab a hoe and hold down right click. On it. Hey, that's looking pretty good. What crop should we plant? Maybe some carrots to start? Sure. Okay. This step is really easy, too. Just start planting carrots all over the place. That's good. It's nice to have multiple types of food, so we should plant some wheat, too. Okay. There. Next up, let's plant some potatoes. All right, done. Thanks. Hmm. The final two rows, let's plant pumpkins and watermelons. Oh, yeah! My work here is done! Oh, Mikey! Oh, hey, JJ! I've been hard at work prepping my security. Whoa, what did you make? Well, this is the first thing. Huh? I made armor! Oh, iron armor! Hmm. All right, let's put this on then. Yeah! Awesome! Thank you, Mikey! You're welcome! But wait, there's more! Take these! Hmm? Oh, carrots! I gathered the carrots from the farm! Thanks! Hmm. I'm gonna eat some right now! Good idea! We should eat before the zombie sharks show up! These are good! Woo! Yum, 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 yum. Ah. There's more! Hmm? This is the last thing! Oh! Ta-da! Is that a rocket launcher, Mikey? Actually, it's a multi-rocket launcher! Uh, we'll have nothing to fear from zombie sharks if we have these! I don't know, Mikey. Rocket launchers are powerful, but are you sure they'll work against underwater targets? What do you mean? Of course they'll work, JJ! Rocket launchers are the ultimate weapon! The strongest there is! I thought you knew that! Huh? What? Look! Over there! Ugh. Oh no, Mikey! The swarm of zombie sharks is here! And they're attacking! Oh man! I was hoping they wouldn't show up! But it's okay! I prepared for this moment! Bring it on! Watch me, JJ! Yeah! Here I go! Go get them! I'll deal with these zombie sharks! Bring on the rockets! Yeah! Ready? Fire! Take this, you lousy fish! Whoa! Why isn't it working? Huh? It's the water. It's slowing down the rockets so they miss the sharks. <gasps> no way! Oh man! You gotta be kidding! No effect at all. The rockets are just fizzling out! Mikey, rocket launchers are useless underwater. <gasps> so all my prep was a waste? Don't worry. I have just the thing. Let's activate the Tesla guns. Huh? That one's close. Three, two, one, fire! Whoa! <gasps> Yeah! So cool! Hmm? Whoa! It's working! Yeah! Look at him go! This is awesome! Yeah! They're dropping like flies! <laughs> we can just sit back and watch! The zombie shots don't stand a chance! Just like I hoped! Woohoo! Phew! Tesla guns are awesome! This is too easy! But you can't get off! They're calling for the most massive eruption in history tonight. And they expect the volcano...
to be active for a month? What? A gigantic volcanic eruption? Starting tonight? And it'll last a whole month? Let's go check it out for ourselves. Okay! Oh, they weren't kidding! It's smoking up here! Oh, this is getting out of hand. We can't stay, Mikey. We have to find cover as quick as possible. But, but there aren't any shelters in our village! You're right, buddy. So I guess it's up to us. Hmm? Since there's no safe place to hide nearby, we'll have to hurry up and build a shelter ourselves. Let's get moving. Yeah, get back! To the village! Quick! <laughs> Sprint! Come on, we don't have much time. That's right! Uh, we are in for a world of trouble. Okay, now, uh... Let's not dilly-dally! The volcano's gonna explode! Come in here, Mikey. Check it out. I need you to put on a helmet and take a pickaxe. Done! And done! Good. Now let's get cracking on a shelter under our house. Got it! We'll start here. All right! Get digging. I'm on it! Step one. Uh-huh. Keep tunneling down. We have to hurry, though. The eruption could go up at any time. Do you think this is deep enough? Uh, mm -hmm. We'll clear some space in that case and begin working on a room. Yes, sir. Let's do it. Yay, shelter making. Yay, indeed, Mikey. We have to make this space magma ready. Then let's get building. Okay, we want to make sure that lava can't get in. Totally! That's the last thing we want in our hideout. I think we're almost done with our first space. How's this? Nice! Maybe a bedroom over here? Sure! I'd also like to have a living room. Whew! This ought to be big enough for now. Mm -hmm. And... Woo! Finished! Is it really? Check it out! Oh, wait. Not quite, actually. We can't forget the ladder. True that! Whoa! There. I added a hatch. And now it's done. Not bad, huh? It's great! Hmm. Ah, that's right. This stuff up here. What? Let's make this part out of stone. Because the lava could burn through the wood. How does that look? Really good! Okay, that should do it. Uh-huh! So, next up, since this eruption is supposed to last for an entire month, we have to be able to spend all that time down here. That's right! Let's set up the space with everything we need to survive for 30 days. Sounds great! I say we start with the bedroom. Sure. We'll definitely want beds. <laughs> I know I will! The villagers will be staying here too, you know. Right, right, right. Let's set up bunk beds. Woo! This is what you have to do to make them. Ease out. There. Stunning. Adding a ladder in the middle. And of course, the bottom bunks. Very nice. <laughs> that about does it. We're done? Well, let's build another lair. There are going to be a lot of us, after all. True. This might not be enough for everyone. Hmm. How's this? Looks good. Triple-decker bunk beds coming right up. Awesome. Put this here. Fix this. Yay! Is this better? Yes! It's great. Now we have room for six people to sleep. What we need now is a toilet and a shower. For sure. It would be embarrassing to have them out in the open. True that. So, we'll make a dedicated bathroom for them. Great thinking. Something like this. Okay, the toilet can go here. Uh-huh. We'll wash our hands in this corner. Ooh, yeah, great idea. We'll put the bathtub over on this side. And the only thing left 
is the shower. There! <laughs> it's a tight squeeze, but everything we need fits. So it's finished then! Yay! Fantastic! We'll place a door here, and that's the bathroom. The bedroom's done too. Uh -huh. So the next thing on our list is the living room. Oh! What will we need for that? Well, it's also going to serve as a kitchen. So we're going to want to store a month's worth of food, or else we'll starve. What point? So let's make a kitchen area. Sure. Here we go. <laughs> so for the kitchen corner, let's make something along these lines. OK. How's this? Very nice. It looks great. Then it's done. Mm. We even have a fridge. So we're going to spend a month in here? Yep, but I almost forgot. We're gonna need some food. Right! Let's get some. There should be some in the supply shed. Oh. Let's have a look-see. Wow, there's so much. These are our reserves. Oh. Potatoes, carrots. Some of the meat and potatoes are rotten, unfortunately. But whatever, let's grab it all. All right, that's a ton of grub. We also have a large wheat supply. Let's take some with us. It keeps well, and we can use it to make bread. Wow! It's just wheat, buddy. And it's all coming with us. Come here. Yeah. All right. Done. Not quite. There's still some growing over on the farm. Let's harvest it. Okay. Grab everything you can. Sure thing. Woo! Well done. Losers! We gathered up so much food! Now, huh? let's put it all away before the volcano erupts. Good idea! Huh. Let's put the carrots and the fresh meat in the fridge. Go for it! How come in there? The potatoes, too. Why not? There. Now, hmm. Yes? We'll store the rest of the food as well as the wheat in this chest. Excellent idea! That should be enough to get us through the month. Something super important! What is it? Hang on a second! What else do we need? Hang on! I'll show you! Huh? Okay! One of these! Oh! A TV! And of course, we gotta have a couple of these! Now this here! And then... <laughs> Yay! <laughs> uh, what are those? They're computers! For gaming! Oh! Now we can take it easy! I see! If we didn't have our gadgets, we couldn't spend a month down here in this shelter! It would be way too boring! This stuff will definitely help us pass the time! Uh hmm! We're ready! Now we have everything we need, right? We can just kick back and relax! Not quite, Mikey! You're forgetting the most important thing! Huh? What could I possibly have overlooked? For ordinary circumstances, this would be more than enough. But the whole region is about to be covered in lava. So? Well, the inside of our shelter is going to heat up like a sauna. What? That's no good. Are you saying it's going to get boiling hot in here? Because we can't survive that. Are you positive about all this? Don't worry, Mikey. Huh? I have an idea. We'll build an AC system. Let's head to the village. We've got some shopping to do. Okay. This is the place. Are you sure? This guy only sells ice. I'm positive. That's what we want to stock up on. I brought my savings. 100 diamonds. Oh. I'm going to use these shiny things to buy as much ice as we can. Mm. All right. We bought a huge supply from the market. Wow! We have more than enough to make an AC system. Okay, this is the bedroom. Let's carve out another space on this side. Sure! This is where we'll set up our system. Let's do it! Gotta make some room first. Of course! So now, Mikey... Uh-huh. We're going to place some ice on the ground. Okay. Now on the wall. Even just this will have an impact on the temperature. I'm cooling down already. 
But it isn't enough, though. I'll place some iron blocks in the back. Okay. The lever's gonna go here, and the fan will go here. Wowee! Amazing! Watch, if I flip the switch. Like so. Whoosh! Whoa! Great, huh? Fantastic! It's so much cooler now! The fan blows the air off the ice and into the rest of the shelter. That's how we'll counter the heat from the lava. Yay! We won't have to boil down here! That's right! Now let's go round up the villagers! Is the volcano really going to blow tonight? Do you want to go above ground and take a peek? Okay. Even if it does, how big of an eruption could it be anyway? Okay. Hmm. Well, how does it look? Do you see anything? Good. Might as well. This is so much fun! You said it! <laughs> cool. <laughs> come on, come on! Almost there! Just a little further! <gasps> yes! I did it! I won! Computer games rock! And shelter life is the best! Time for another round! Let's go! Mikey, <laughs> you've been playing for a while. You should sleep. Oh, hmm. I guess you're right. I can pick up where I left off tomorrow. Let's call it a night. Sure. Ah, it's nice and cool. And the villagers are already asleep. Let's join them. <sighs> sleep, eat, game, repeat. Thanks for computers. Down here is easy. <laughs> hmm. Huh? Huh? Uh. What was that sound? I think I heard an explosion in the living room. Seriously? Uh. Yikes! No! Oh. It's it's lava and it's flying in. How'd that happen? Seriously? Oh, it burnt a hole in the ceiling, and now it's seeping through. We have to plug it before it gets any worse. I have some dirt blocks, but will they do the trick? Will they stop the lava flow? Oh, Mikey, I think it's working. Let's see. Will we be okay? We might be able to use dirt to seal the hole. Well... It worked! The leak, it's stopping! Look, look, look! Wow! Phew! I thought we were done for! <sighs> Is the lava level still coming down? Yes! I think we're safe! Wonderful! We managed to survive! Yippee! Now everything in the shelter is back to normal! I'm just glad we were able to protect the food! <sighs> Fortunately, it's A-OK! -okay. Mikey? Yeah? What's the matter, JJ? Everything's all right, isn't it? No. Look. The shelter is back to normal. It isn't. The computers and TV, they melted. Oh, no! Ah! <laughs> They're gone! Mikey, you're moving? Yeah, I've been wanting 
thing too for a while, actually. This house is so loud, it's driving me crazy. My new gym because the rent was so cheap, but I haven't been able to sleep a wink since I've been here. Oh. Whoa, just a second. That's a lot of villagers. I know. How can there possibly be so many of them? Huh? Hang on. I could be wrong, but it looks like your place is completely surrounded by one family's giant house. Uh -huh. I hear the villagers talking from every direction. Ah. Not only that, I just realized right in front of your home there's a farm full of animals. That must be so noisy. living here, buddy. All this racket is clearly taking a toll on you. You said it! I can't stay here anymore! Yep. Anywhere else would be better. Could you help me find a new place? I just want some peace and quiet. Sure thing, Mikey. Let's find you a new home today. Yay! To get things started, I say we look around for a super quiet house. <laughs> <laughs> 